It is now the second day of round four. Anyway, folks, hello and welcome back to some more Fade Extra. On our last episode, we pretty much started up Ronnie's route, which is a whole new experience for me. And we met our fourth round opponent, that being Monji Gato, and his servant that is a relatively familiar face from another Tap Moon franchise, of which hopefully we'll get some more closure upon in the future. Anyway, let us continue, henceforth. A dream suddenly descends upon me. It feels like I'm watching one of the countless videos that scattered across the internet. It is a scene I have witnessed before while sleeping in the aftermath of the Grey War prelims. It might be a scene from a past I cannot recall. It's as if it was imprinted upon my genes, stored away as an unknown trauma erased from my memories. I hear a voice of lamentation. Why? 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 Why do I yearn for something I despise? Why do I lament over which I love? In the midst of chaos, I watch as countless people die in misery. Why does blank move toward this scene? Is there an answer for this insanity? And if there isn't one, I would need to create one for my own strength of will. I have no need for memories. I don't even really need a past. All I need to do is keep fighting. I hear a distant voice asking me to wake up. Well, that was a relatively familiar fiery scene. Mm. My eyes open. I just remember tired remnants of a broken dream. That dream just now. I can't attach a memory or event to it, but I'm sure it was a dream of my past. Of that fact, I have no doubt. It's driving me insane that no matter how hard I try, I can't recall anything about my past. As I can't do anything about it, I should just let it go for now, or until I remember something. Hey, it's now evening. Alright. Oh, hello there, Sibba. Your mind seems to be wandering. I hope you're not dwelling on that girl in the nurse's office. At any rate, we should focus on that noise we found yesterday. It could be a trap. Right, I'll find out what that means. Ren's probably in her usual spot. I'll stop worrying about Ronnie long enough to ask about my headache. So, rooftop? You say usual spot. But we found her on the first floor before. Hey, what's up, lassie? I got the gal from Magic Club, which doesn't seem too bad until you consider a servant. Figuring out a servant should be easy if I see her in action. I find me like part of my room. Okay. Well, to the rooftop, I suppose. Wait. Guess we don't have to be lazy, right? Right to who? Are you up here? Yes, you are. Hello there, Tosica. Did you find the anomalies? I tracked them down, collecting the day it gave me a headache. Though, I wonder why. Just a headache, you say? I see, I'd imagine that you would suffer some poor condition, but I didn't think that would be all. The pendant I gave you does, in fact, absorb residual magic power, however. But to be honest, accessing those distortions puts a murderous amount of stress on the brain. Stress on the brain? Yes, the feedback generator would be enough to kill you if a magic circuit wasn't present. The icy grip of terror grips my spine. Was this all just a trap? Have I put too much trust in this girl? Wait, that can't be right. I accessed the distortions yesterday, and I'm still alive. So what does this all mean? Is she trying to make some kind of sick joke at my expense? This proves it. You can't be a magus. To your point, Chazzy Sa, you're not even human. What in the hell? Did she just say what I think she said? <sighs> you aren't human. Or maybe your brain is abnormal. I'm not sure what you are, actually. I think you might be the same as that humongous girl. What of your anomalies, at best? Are you rolling the dark about how you arrived here? I don't know, it's just... It's like I can half recall a dream that I can't remember ever having. A dream? Well, in a virtual world? In theory, there's no difference between this place and a dream. <sighs> like a dream within a dream, you are truly a mystery wrapped in an enigma. Of those final words, Rentosica turns and leaves. So I'm not real Magus, and I might not even be human? That has to be describing someone else as there's nothing extraordinary about me. Even without my memories, I'm sure about that. Well... We aren't even human! 
That hurts, girl! Anyway, hello there, Issei. The item you have is quite interesting. Oh, it's a magical apparatus of some kind, I see. Have you been experimenting with Fomatoshi while in the arena? Right, so, what could be next on our agenda, I wonder? I'd assume, maybe Ronnie? Because we've already been to the library relatively recently. And there's no Taiga. We've only gained one level up, so I don't think that really warrants putting some more points into strength for now. Oh, just like yesterday, I pull the curtains aside and quietly take a seat at Ronnie's bedside. Ronnie's awake, her eyes are still blank, and she's still motionless. Ronnie sees me looking at her. Do you enjoy gazing at a broken tool? So, why would she say that? I hope she'll clarify what she said. And answer to my unspoken plea, Ronnie continues. I am a tool. I exist to acquire the Holy Grail. I love only to retrieve the Holy Grail from my professor. And now I have failed. So I am a broken tool. I must disintegrate into the dust return to the cycle. She speaks in a flat monotone, the light gone out of her eyes. She says that she's a tool, and without the Holy Grail war, she has nothing. It's nothing. I just want to know one thing. Did this professor of hers really raise a person solely for the task of retrieving the Holy Grail? That would mean that she has never experienced a well of her own. <sighs> My professor? My professor's done everything from, from bringing me into the world to loving and teaching me. My professor wished for the Holy Grail, and I am a tool to grant my professor's wishes. Then what would Ronnie wish for, if she had the Holy Grail? She's putting her life on the line for her professor, but what about... Oh no, what about what Ronnie re wishes for? I'm kind of pissed off by what I'm hearing. I mean, if her professor told her to jump off a bridge, she probably would. <coughs> my professor's words are absolute, and I believe it is not of your concern, Wells Dave. Whoa, call me Wells Dave now, eh? For the first time since the battle, Ronnie scolds me, her voice raising and her eyes narrowing. Please leave and don't come back. That was clearly a bit different from yesterday's rejection. If, if she would just open up to me, I feel like I could help her. I'll try coming back tomorrow. The elimination battle may be over, but I haven't truly saved her yet. Yeah, not quite. Well, it does say tomorrow. Anything you, Sakura? I ah, already hate your watch. Sadly, Rose prevented me from giving you a second one. I don't think I hate it, though. Please come back next week. Ah, it's next week. Oh, he won a lunch a week. Dang. Starving us. Hey, what's up, buddy, old pal? You should watch your bag. It looks like the who's who of mental illness is out to get you. Hmm. Right, 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 right. So, I've been to the library yesterday. I don't think there's any need to double check for now. I think this is just going to be one of those days where we just kind of grind. Or it's going to be so worse, I might just do an edit though, but we'll see. And then this is the arena entrance. Should I head inside? Anyway, we're back at the fourth trimeric lunar sea. We are exactly the level of this arena. Might do some grinding though. Who knows? Can we get our cipher key now, though? That is a question. We can also get a bunch of encounters. You know what? I know what to do right now. Can I... Well, get ready to heal for now. We'll have Shockwave. Now, I believe it's this button, right? Could be wrong, however. Go. There we go. That's one way to get past them for now. So we're getting a little bit annoying. Mm. Oh, another one. Hello there. Plus, I'll make grinding a bit easier as well, since they lose a turn. And since we have the fountains, it's just a lazy way to grind, really. Just not gonna do that right now. Oh, we missed! Ah. But we're blessed by these beats once again. Anyway, are, is this gonna be the pattern? Oh, I wonder if this has a repeat pattern. And before it's. No! I just got myself free hit combos. Or not. Okay. Okay, I was actually really paranoid. Oh, 
I want to go to the healing fountain in peace. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. Don't keep wha whacking him. <laughs> Bo's close enough. The poor cube. All right, so what's over here? Okay. Got the trigger. Trigger called Eta. Or Eta. Is it Eta? Anyway, we managed to obtain the trigger. Per those tell anyway. That master is truly an oddity. Yeah! I mean, it's pretty much a new face for me. Which, in retrospect, is very exciting. And the fact that Sermon is. Why didn't I wipe the thing? The fact that Sermon is pretty much a berserker is really cool as well. Plus, just the fact that it's from an alternative, like, NASA verse. I see alternative NASA verse and NASA verse is good joint. What am I talking about? But hey, it's complicated, let's just say that. Oh, I really want to read that novel again, though. How long has it been? <laughs> Too long! Right, so is there anything. Wait. Oh! Wait, is this our. Is this going to be our first rare enemy? Hang on, this might be our first um, rare enemy. I mean, he looks certainly a lot different. I take one of these, you bugger! So what are you? It's Pinoa. Nephilim. Ah, there's more than one of these, right? 3,000 health, by the way. So gain strength. So this is pretty much like a mini boss. So we can attack. We're gonna play this careful. Because we don't want to die. I don't even know how hard that hats in all honesty. It's been so long. I mean, the thing might even have skills. <laughs> Speaking of skills. Oh, it guarded. Dang. No matter. Slap pool 500. Seba. Dang. Nah, that's a lot of extreme money. He barely got scratched, though. Anyway, Shockwave second strike. Wait, is that basically the next tier, then? In the sense that... Oh! Huh. So, does that mean that it pierces, or...? Anyway, what I'm gonna do for now is doing a little bit of off-screen grinding. And then I'll see you lot in a bit. Alright, I finished up my grinding and I was trying out that Shockwave second strike. And it does indeed stun them for two turns. That's pretty good. Anyway, let's return to the campus. It's going pretty well. So we beat up a Nephilim too. And we've gotten to level 22. And our wee servant is having a little nap. Right, so we only have 8% treasures. That might be in relation to Taiga's side glass, though. We only need to get two more levels for the target level as well, which will probably be very easy to achieve in the second floor. No new information gathered, however. But... We'll stop continuing onwards just to get a little bit more done. So it's now day three. Anyway, I've been too preoccupied with the conversation with Ren yesterday to gather information. Not good. <laughs> what is the matter? You don't look too well. Oh, it's, <laughs> I just assumed it was Ren, but it was Leo. Anyway, a warm voice envelops my poor, frazzled soul in an embrace. It wasn't nice of me to do so, but I happened to overhear you and that girl talking yesterday. I have pondered why you gave off a different vibe than the other masters as well. Are you still worried about what she said? Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
because there's no sense in being uncertain of yourself. I don't believe many people are ever self-aware. Can't you accept not knowing as part of your identity? Make it part of my identity? What in the world? Good day, then. Leo left before I could come up with a witty retort. Hmm? Oh, I guess the servant had nothing to say. However, his servant sends a look back my way. His eyes seem to be saying, You've been given good advice. Don't waste it. Though his eyes convey chivalry, it's not without an air of pity and condescension. Leo butcher that Gawain fella, eh? What Leo told me earlier has been dominating my thoughts. It's about what I could do now. I'm, that's right, for now I'm a master involved in the Holy Grail War. Since that is the only clue that I have to my identity, I should do what I can to try and understand it. Maybe if I compare myself with the masters I've faced, I'll learn something about myself. Choices! I believe this will probably matter, I don't know, but just in case, so then we get to see them all, I will do a quick edit. Alright, so as much as I don't want to, let's remember Shinji first and foremost. I tried to recall everything I learned about Shinji. Oh no. In reality, he was the champion of the Asian tournament, and a famous hacker. He was only 8 years old. The role assigned to him during the preliminary round was Class Clown, and my friends. At the same time, my role was to be his friend and sidekick of sorts. Is that really the drift? Was I ever really Shinji's friend? No, not really. I can't, I can't remember anything else. It is as if my memory is all clouded over. As I try to push deeper into my mind, it's almost as if something is actively pushing me away. I, I can't remember anything more. Okay, next up after Shinji is Dan. I try thinking about Dan. He was a soldier, a magus who could interface with the digital world. And a knight. He denounced underhanded methods and respected etiquette, and he faced me head on. Since I don't really remember anything from before I lost my memories, I think of him like my father. Even now his back is a symbol, his words are a guidepost. There is no shame in regret or losing your way, but never forsake the path which you have chosen. He was right, even though my memory is obscured and I have yet to find a purpose in fighting, those words still resonate within me. But no words can change the fact that while I may be ready to face the future, my past remains lost. Or maybe I might not even... Okay, last but not least, let us remember about the little munchkin, Alice. I tried to recall everything I learned about Alice. She was, in a sense, an innocent victim of all this. A cyber ghost, a lost, lonely little girl who couldn't go home and only wanted someone to play with. I wish I'd have talked with her more. I regret not doing so for as long as I live. Regardless of my memory issues, I should have at least tried to get to know her better. You're just like me. The little girl who had projected a sense of strength, despite her desperate loneliness. But it's too late to do anything now. She's gone, and her blood will forever be on my hands. Any clothes I might have learned disappear like snowflakes, melting in the palm of my hand. I guess I won't be able to figure out anything. After all, I, I misread that completely, but let's roll with it. <laughs> are you so obsessed over your past? You are you. That's all that matters. Leave the past where it is. I appreciate Saber's attempt to comfort me, but the fact is, I want to know who I am. I want to know where I came from. I want to know what there is for me after all of this. Is that so? Then try to get to know those around you. They may have the answers you seek. To start, maybe you should speak to that girl in the nurse's office. She can't be entirely useless. Saber may be onto something. Talk to others might give me some insight into my true self. For now, I should go to the nurse's office. I want to check in on Ronnie and maybe pick up some info as well. Yeah, because we haven't really picked up much info at all about our opponent's servants. I learned the fact that we know it exists. And that it may or may not be a berserker. I'm just going to assume that as a berserker. Anyway, what is his last got for us? It's totally slipped my mind over the past couple weeks, but a comic book I want comes out today. I don't miss real life, I miss the little things, you know. 
It's only for a little bit longer. Master's disappearing. I'll win and go home. Huh. She's like, you know, I'll win. Oh, Tiger. Hey, Dave. Something urgent has come up. You have to help me. Yes, ma'am. You're my hero. I mean it. So I decided to try my hand at cooking and whipped up a feast. I thought I'd made the perfect dish. But the system labeled it as a bug and moved it somewhere. Rumor has it that my culinary tour de force is languishing in the arena, awaiting deletion. If it hasn't recovered today, I'll be sent over to the dustbin of history. Please, you must hurry. Hurry? Oh no! Not telling us delectable delight, but we do have the nurse's office to head to. And we also need to pay a visit to the chapel and whatnot. So then we could just spend some more of our skill points. Anyway, my head is filled with worry for Ronnie as I make my way toward the nurse's office. When I reach the area where the beds are, she's as expressionless as always. But I think I see a bit more of a gleam in her eye than yesterday. <sighs> You've come again? Ronnie welcomes me with barbed words, but they're spoken quietly, with a note of reservation. I have nothing to say to someone who speaks poorly of my professor. Please leave. Ignoring her words of dismissal, I speak over Ronnie. I need to talk to Ronnie more, if I want to draw out more of her feelings. Plus, it helps me relax to know what's on her mind. <laughs> oh! It seems I'm not a human being. I tell Ronnie about Ren found out that I'm not a human being, and that I have no idea what I actually am. Ronnie listens attentively to what I have to say. Unlike me, Ronnie at least knows who she is. That's why it irritates me that her professor words dictate her life. When she hears that, Ronnie replies in a gentle tone. My professor is my everything. My professor is my progenitor and my teacher. When I ask to hear a little more about our professor, Ronnie lights up and words pour out. Eh. Although I was but my professor's tool from inception, my professor raised me as a human being. Because I was not created with much emotional depth, Carrying out my professor's wishes is my all. Yes, we are the same. I think you both and I are empty vessels, Dave. The same? What does Ronnie mean by that? She can't meet my gaze. After a long silence, Ronnie looks into my eyes and delivers a cruel truth. <laughs> I have great hypo hypothesis based on your talk with Rintoska. You do not have an actual body. Why are we staring at a wall? I am too taken aback to respond. I don't have an actual body. What's this camera angle? <laughs> Magical backlashes have no effect on your brain, though technically that's impossible. You would have suffered damage if you had a body. I'm no exception to that rule. With that evidence in hand, there can only be one conclusion. Only a body that doesn't exist cannot be damaged. Perhaps you have but a string of ones and zeros, Dave. No, wait, just hang on a second. Oh, please don't misunderstand. To say that you don't have a body doesn't mean it isn't out there. It just means you're disconnected from it. Had you had issues with the prelims? Perhaps the link to your body was cut off before the preliminaries. It's only natural for your memory to be hazy, as you are severed from your database. Your body. I see. It's not that I don't have memories, it's that I can't retrieve them at the moment. If that's the case, I just need to repair the broken link. This must be quite problematic for you, Dave. If you don't mind, please allow me to help. Ronnie will help me relink with my body? That's the best news I've heard all tournaments. I impulsively grasp Ronnie's hand and thank her fervently. <laughs> uh, of course, we're in the same boat after all. I'll devote my time to finding the location of your body on Earth, Dave. What a relief! Once I've found my body back, I'll learn everything about myself why I entered this way, what my history is, and what my life is like. Once I know the swings, I'll be able to fight with pride. Ronnie smiles softly, as if reading my thoughts. Aww. We are the same, Dave. I too have been on a quest this whole time. I just remembered. Remembered what? Ronnie smiles at me. I think she gets enjoyment out of me seeing me worked up like this. She's lost her earlier hesitancy. I'm afraid I'm a bit worn out, and so I apologize for my unsociable behavior earlier. May we talk again tomorrow? She really didn't have to ask. I nod yes. So that's right, Ronnie sails down to sleep. Sigh, it's a promise. I guess that was too draining of a conversation for someone who is currently bedridden. I'll leave her be for now. There's an arena to be explored anyway. 
Yeah, things to do, you know, side quests to be taken, culinary delights to be saved, and whatnot. But first and foremost, let's go to the chapel. Now, I don't know if there's anything else. We've spoken to Ren, we've spoken to Ronnie. There might be more. Actually, is there anything new from you? Oh! You want to learn what you need to know from me? Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, it's time for an alteration. Anyway, hello there, Alco. Yes, um. Now, what star are we raising today, I wonder? Mm, boop. Of course, more strain. See, there's all these other stats. We have no need for them right now. We just need strain. Maybe we'll go for an EX rank and strength. <laughs> What now? Need another alteration? No, 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 no. I'm just gonna double check that. I'm pretty sure we did six points, so yeah, we did. I guess Saber just wasn't too happy of that amount. Well, I mean, six more points of strength. That's gonna make up the difference. I mean, damage is damage after all. But that is a point. What else do we have potentially? I mean, we might just... We've had the Remembrance of Anne. I guess we could just head to the first floor and find out what's going to happen there. I was already at the first floor. A little bit of a brain fart. My apologies. <laughs> You're totally stressed out. What's the matter? My reason for being here? It doesn't matter at this point. My only goal is to survive this wall. I mean, isn't it the same for you? And I'm sure you had a wish. They you like granted, right? Okay. Oh. Oh. As I enter the arena, I bump into Gato at the doorway. He appears to have just finished exploring. While I have to fight, I send out the ready. But Gato is at ease. <laughs> Given it y'all, as time passes and your chakras slow, senility and death creep closer. And therefore, train ever harder. My beloved foe, for then will you be a worthy sacrifice to my god. As always, he's spelling nonsense. Still, I can't help asking him why he entered the wall. A motive? I simply wish to bathe the world in the light of God, as is the will of my lord. As I am God's sole mouthpiece, you may bow before me to be forgiven of your trespasses, the little heretic. So ridiculous! Whatever! I don't bother opening my mouth, because Gato won't shut up anyway. Oh Lord, please guide this young soul by the light of your demonic eye, if only to the calling. Okay, body or prow? <laughs> Gato's maniac laughter echoes in his wake as he leaves. Problematic as his motive is, it actually does make sense. Insane fanaticism drives him. As for me, I wonder if I had a potent motive too, before I lost my memory. Or potent, rather. Anyway, Ham Preta, do you recall the characteristics of his gods? Demonic eye, but no one can tell. There's no special meaning behind the words. Well, we got Matrix level. Well, that answers my question earlier as to why we haven't gotten one of those yet. Oh, he's a monogam. So, I guess we may as well go back into the arena. Finish up Tiger's side quest. Because, as always, I may just double check whether or not I've missed something. And if I have, I'll get edited in. And if it hasn't, well then, you know. So, I wonder where this is at. Will the Nephilim respawn to... Oh, there might be an event for Saber as well! Because we defeated a rare enemy recently, didn't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. So I guess we'll go right side first, because right is always right, right? Right, right? Who oh, no! <laughs> I pressed... No! No! Don't want to open a game bar. I hope that didn't actually pop up! <laughs> I still pressed the Xbox button on my controller. Uh, you agitator! You deserve only death! Ha! That web bothers me. Yeah, 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 I'm in awe. Whoa, there's an atom over there. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Go, we hatched it. Please, uh, thank you. Good job, Sam. Ah. 
crap omelette. I don't see how a crap omelette is spectacular, but sure, whatever. <laughs> right. So we're going to see whether or not that Nephilim is still alive. Because I do want to kill it again. I want to know if it exists, you know. Well, let's just save it. Bleeds, we can kill it. Except these things don't really bleed. Wait, is it? Ah! Two rare monsters ever respawn. That is a point. Dang, that's something I may need to look into. Man, we may as well bonk this thing because I do want to show off the double stun. That's pretty significant now because now we two shot Moon Dust. Like, reliably, without needing a crit. Oh, that's pretty much going to be moot. Because we're going to be in the next, uh... Floor soon enough, right? At least it feels like as if we are. Because we've already spent, like, three days here. Anyway, let's return to the campus and, I guess, end off this day. And in the next episode, we'll hopefully remember to go back to Saber's room after defeating a rare monster. Because I'm pretty sure there's an event for that. There might also be events in relation to taking things like damage and whatnot, maybe using items. It's a lot of grindiness to... But, it might be worth it in the end. Because it is Saber after all. You have grasped a clue to your memories, Peter. I'm as poised as if I were my own mind and flux. I still disapprove of helping that girl, but well, sacrifices must be made. Yes, retrieve your connection to your body so that you can sever your connections to that girl. Yeah, we got all treasures. Okay, so that arena is pretty much pointless now. If we unlock the second floor. That's good to know, unless if there ends up being another side quest there. But I have my doubts. We've got the first enemy servant info as well. So we're doing pretty well off. So what's this thing that we learned? Demonic Eye. Those who possess the ability of demonic eyes are capable of influencing the outside world. The effectiveness of which has been severely reduced due to the incom oh, incompetency of the master. Okay. Oh, so he's pretty much a scrubby master. I mean, that makes sense. So is that going to be... Huh. Th 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 this might be an interesting guy. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. But anyway, folks, thank y'all for watching this episode of Fate Extra. It was a wee bit of a bumpy ride this time. But there was quite a lot done. Many events to be seen. A decent amount of grinding and whatnot. It was pretty fine dappy dozy. But anyhow, ta-ta for now.